Good morning, my lovelies. So today we are going to my niece's 18th birthday. It's just family house party. Um, so I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. I've got red lipstick on because, you know, I'm on a red kick. So this top I'm wearing, it's very, very old. It was from phase eight. I like it so much, it just goes with so many different things. When I don't know what top to wear, I will always choose this one. I have actually two of them. I'm wearing the Zara red trousers, you know, the high-waisted ones, and of course my red shoes. But because it's it's not that warm, um, um, I've got the little Zara jacket on, so let me show you that. So I'm wearing this Zara bouclet jacket, you may remember it from one of my hauls. It was, I think, very early spring or late winter that I bought that one. So this is what I'm wearing. A show and tell in my garden. So the weather is lovely. Yesterday we um, went to my sister-in-law's because our niece was 18 and we actually sat in a garden all day so it wasn't very hot it was probably about 20 degrees but um, it was sunny and it's sunny today i'm sitting under my new umbrella <laughs> and i'm doing laundry so what i'm looking at is laundry but i love the smell of fresh laundry i told you before that this is one of my favorite activities to hang my washing out Right, I wanted to show you something. It's a bit windy. I've added this to my skincare routine in the morning. A Coenzyme Q10 serum from Skindeva. So, you know, I always, always use the vitamin C serum, but now I've added that as well. So I put the vitamin C serum first, then this one. It's a bit different. It's sort of milky in color um, in color consistency and it feels feels very very lovely I don't know why I've never used coenzyme Q10 before it is also with matrix or 3000 and hyaluronic acid so lovely and so good for your skin also I got sent in a PR new commodity fragrance juice so I got the large bottle so that's the expressive do you remember um, commodity do the scent spaces so whatever fragrance you buy they come in personal expressive and bold and this is just like the strength of it so personal will be very uh, delicate just for you to enjoy and maybe someone that gets really close to you then expressive is the usual one people can smell it around you and then bold is if you want to I don't know if you want your fragrance to walk in the room before you do uh, so this one has what does it have in it it's raspberry fragrance it's actually really nice so this is ripe strawberry rhubarb and raspberry pulp blended until smooth with a base of amber wood and then i got the personal in just like a travel bottle and personal is what's in the expressive plus violet leaf and the bold one obviously what's in expressive with vetiver and patchouli The only thing is, I'm testing it right now, I feel like they don't have, um, this particular fragrance doesn't have much longevity, but I think Bold is my favorite one. It is, um, it's very juicy actually, it's such a good name for it, juice, it's very juicy, a bit sour, I like that raspberry, strawberry. It's really nice, but um, I'm still testing it. I don't think it's very long lasting. Like, for example, the book. The book is very long lasting. 
and the milk. I really, really like the fragrance, but the longevity is a bit of a problem, I think. I don't think this is available yet. Um, I think you might be able to get in Sephora one of the travel sizes, but I can't remember which scent space, if you get in the expressive, personal or bold. So, um, but on their website, this is not available yet. So it's a brand new fragrance. So yes, I'm in a bit, bit better mood this week because the weather is nice, but I hate my hair. I don't know what to do with my hair. I like my hair when I first you know style it um, I feel it's gotten a bit too long um, I don't want to cut it too short because I need to be able to put my hair up for the gym and also because I don't want to wash my hair every day and style it every day you know I wash my hair like twice a week so the days that my hair is not that fresh doesn't look good I like to put it up I would never, I don't think, cut my hair really short, like into a some sort of pixie style. I don't know, I just don't feel feminine in very short hair. I think you have to have a specific look to look good in short pixie style. I see a lot of women with very short hair and they look so cute, so trendy. I think I would look old-fashioned if that's the word for it so I don't really know what to do with my hair I definitely will cut it I'm going I think I'm going next week and um, just having my roots done just half a head so I'll probably ask her to cut it but um, I don't know am I ever happy <laughs> Right, I better go and get my next load out of the washing machine. Hello, I'm back with different hair. <laughs> so you know this morning I was moaning to you about my hair. And after I've talked to you and finished my laundry, I went to see my neighbor and my friend. She's a hairdresser, she's retired now. She's had many salons in her life. And she's the one that I actually worked for all these years back. I worked in a salon, in a reception. And that's where, where I go back now for my highlights. But I was moaning to her about my hair. She said, oh, just come on, I just cut it for you. So she just cut it for me. And it's so lovely, look at it. Isn't it beautiful cut? She's an amazing hairdresser. She doesn't do it anymore, but you know, if I ever ask her to cut my hair, she, she would. So that's quite good. So when I go on Wednesday to have my highlights done, I don't have to have a haircut now. But yeah, it's much, feels much fuller now and thicker because it's shorter. Oh, and guess what? My Natasha Denona palette arrived, my golden palette. I'm so glad. And my film um, video tomorrow, I see how I go. If I do, that means that while you're watching this video, you would have already seen the Natasha Denona video. Because <laughs> today is only Monday. Okay, my lovelies, I just thought I'd show you my new hair. This is how Louis is sleeping. <laughs> Do you think we should go to bed now? It's very late. Let's go to bed. Hello. Cup of coffee. I fancied coffee with milk. I normally drink black coffee, but today I fancied milky one. Right. The reason I'm wearing the mic is, I hope you'll make it better, because every 30 seconds there is a helicopter over my house. I live near Ascot and this is Royal Ascot Week, the, ra the famous ra racehorsing event and obviously I'm under the flying path. 
and all these people are flying their helicopters to the races. So sorry if you can hear helicopters. So this morning, um, today I'm supposed to go to see a hygienist and they called me this morning and said that she's not well so they had to cancel my appointment. I've done my ironing, you know I did laundry earlier on this week so I've done my ironing and I've curled my hair. I wanted to see how my short hair would look curled, quite like it. I still have those two one clip extensions on each side. They are a bit too long now because my hair is short, shorter. So I thought I put this microphone on with the dead cat. <laughs> uh, hopefully the noise won't be so bad. That's why I want to live in the middle of nowhere. Or I have kids screaming in a park or I have helicopters flying over my house. Right, what I really wanted to show you is this. So you know lip oils are all the rage and there is no way I would pay for like a Dior lip oil. It's ridiculous to pay that amount of money for something that doesn't even have any colour. Um, I suppose the Sigma ones are not that expensive but I've got this e.l.f. one and I've, I, meant to sh I mean to show it to you in every vlog. I've had it for ages and I always forget. Um, this is the Glow Reviver lip oil and mine is in Red Delicious. So you would think, oh, it's very red. I've got it on my lips now. Let me just swatch it. Just because it's red, it's not really red. It's got like a red hue. So if you want any hint of colour, I would go for the darkest you can because it's not like a lipstick. But this just, it's so beautiful. The smell is okay, sort of strawberry, I don't know, but it is not too thick, not too thin, feels like a bouncy cushion. It's gorgeous and it's so inexpensive, so I would definitely recommend the lip oils if you like lip oils. Another thing, hay fever. I've never had hay fever in my life till about three years ago and I don't get it that bad. My nose just keeps running. And we've been using this actually for a few years now. They were never um, available here in the UK. I think you could get them in, in the US, but now you can get them in boots on Amazon. It's the Ale Alevia and the um, active ingredient is fexofenadine hydrochloride so it's different to like your other antihistamines this is amazing so i will wake up in the morning like for the last two three weeks i would say and my nose after about half an hour of being up my nose starts streaming so i take this and within an hour it's gone and it's a very long lasting one it lasts 24 hours and i mean i can i can't say that it will work for everybody you know some people have really really bad hay fever streaming eyes and sneezing and and everything i don't have it as bad but for me this works so so well so I thought I'd tell you about that just in case your normal hay fever tablets don't work for you, you could try those. I actually just ordered some more because Paul's got hay fever. Paul, yeah, I've got only three left now. Be careful though, always when you're shopping online, read how many tablets it has. This one had 30 because they, there are boxes that have only seven tablets I think in it so don't make the mistake always look down here how many tablets is in that box. My garden is looking so good. You know that um, bottle brush plant that I bought is so tall now it looks like it's gonna flower soon but another thing is my geraniums are humongous. I've never had geraniums that big and I think 
I know what it is. What well, it could be coincidence. I could have just got good plants, but I always shop in the same garden centre. What I was doing about four months ago, before I planted anything, it was still quite cold. By the way, the weather's been nice this week. Um, I've, I've watched something on YouTube, I think. I think it might have been when I was into vegetable car garden. Then what you can do to fertilise your soil is to put banana peels in it and eggshells. So that's what I've been doing. I've been, not loads, but I don't know, maybe each pot had, over time, three banana skins and a few eggshells, crushed eggshells. And you just like sort of bury it in your soil and leave it for it to decompose. And of course, banana gives you potassium and there is a helicopter coming and eggshells calcium. So I don't know if that's why my plants are so big. Hold on a second. Right, it's gone. Honestly, I want to shoot them down. Um, yes, let me show you that bottle brush plant. Can you see how tall it is? And it looks like it's going to flower soon. And I feel like my geraniums are just very tall, very big. Look at this one here, hold on. Look at this one here, just behind where I'm sitting. I feel it's huge. So yes, it could have been the banana skins. Everything is huge. Try it. I am going in a few days to see my surgeon for like a last checkup and then I will do a video like an update like two months update on my eyes because I've got some questions for him let's just put it this way I am not 100% happy with my eyes it's quite annoying but I know <laughs> it's 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 strange because all of you always tell me oh how great my eyes look to be honest I'm so used to them now that I don't see really any difference unless I look at the photos of myself from before um, but yeah I am not 100% happy it didn't meet my expectations but I'm going to talk to him about that and um, when I do the video I don't know it'll be another week or two weeks I don't know um, we will talk about all that I will try to find footage from before I had it done till now and maybe put some photos together it's so difficult to do that though um, yeah and I will do proper update okay my lovelies I'm gonna go now I'm not doing anything today I was filming uh, yesterday so today uh, it's funny because when I have something like the hygienist and I'm, I know what I'm doing that day. If something changes, I'm all out of kilter. I don't know what to do with myself because you know about, because of my slight OCD, I have to have everything planned. So that threw me off this morning. And I, and I thought, okay, I do my ironing, I curl my hair, and now I don't know what to do with myself because I haven't planned anything else. Right, I'm going.
Good morning, my lovelies. It's not morning. I've been cleaning all morning. We have um, friends coming over this weekend and staying with us. So I had to prepare their bedroom. It's Friday today, so I need to finish this vlog today because obviously they come in tomorrow. So I need to finish it today and upload it and schedule it for Sunday but make sure I schedule it for the right time I'm so sorry last Sunday I scheduled it for a completely different day for like 27th or something like this I don't know what possessed me um, so yes I have to finish it what I'm doing now <laughs> I'm relaxing now I've got um, do you remember this bottle, it was um, an apple cider vinegar bottle that I bought and I was going to paint it ages ago and I don't know, I wasn't in a mood or I forgot about it or I didn't fancy it but today when I finished my cleaning I thought, you know what? I fancy doing a bit of DIY. It always relaxes me. Um, I have done a video, if you haven't seen it, I will link it. Um, I've made over three different vessels, pots, um, using three different techniques. It's just such fun and so relaxing to do. I would recommend this to anybody honestly you are going to love it you can start with anything with a wine bottle um, my first project was Prosecco bottle so yes I definitely recommend it you will love it and you don't need any skills because anything goes you just need to have few supplies I have to be careful because when I get into something, you know, with me it's all or nothing. When I first did this project, these three projects, I didn't want to stop. I was looking for anything to make over, but I've got nowhere to keep this stuff. I could give it as present, but I don't know if people in my life are into that I might give this one to my sister-in-law she really liked my project and I've bought now another bottle of the apple cider vinegar this was the one local from Surrey Orchards here and it's got a really nice shape so I will have another bottle soon my hair is a mess because I haven't washed it for days now I didn't, I didn't want to wash my hair to sweat doing housework, so I'll wash my hair tomorrow morning. Okay, I think I need to leave it to dry now and then I'll make it look old. <laughs> Sorry, it's impossible to talk to you and concentrate on this anyway I've just come here to say goodbye so yes so I'm going to finish this vlog here I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week and stay fabulous bye